Well, now I guess I just chill with you. So tell me. What happened the to owl flew away there? with the key, Kirk. That's good news, Kate Walker. Now we only need... Kirk. What's wrong? Do Dr. Olga's treatment. Kirk, Kirk, can you hear me? Wake up! Come, come. No need to be alarmed, Miss Walker. It really got really bad, uh... Voice actors for this. Well, Miss Walker... You're Dr. Olga, I suppose. We weren't expecting you to awaken for another few days, Miss Walker. This is surprising. Truly. If I had known, I would have come by earlier in the day to assist you in your return to the world of the waking. Unlike poor Kirk here, I have no need of help. I am very well, thank you. Fainting is a secondary effect inherent in the treatment, Miss Walker. Nothing more. In medicine, despite any discomfort, protocol must be respected. Oh, you mean that horrible mechanical bed where that poor boy is waiting for a prosthesis that never comes? That's protocol? And I suppose the same is true for the absurd interrogation I had to go through. Yes. You seem to have developed a singular paranoia since Why you came out of the coma. When we get the chance, I'll look into it. But for now, I'm going to ask you to please leave. I have to administer the next stage of the treatment to your young friend. How is he a boy? Fine, I'm leaving. I hope all this is gonna help him. Well then, I can't imagine why you might think the opposite, Miss Walker. Oh, it's gonna turn out she's actually dying in the snowdrift, isn't it? How is he? Your young friend is reacting to the treatment very well. Everything is fine. He's resting. Oh. I don't like well, this. Well, goodbye, doctor. Go fuck yourself, doctor. I'll come by and see you very soon, Miss Walker. Don't worry. Why do you look like Chucky's mom? With those fucking Chucky eyes. Miss Walker, she got me on that good shit. I won't be able to calm down from this for... Oh, I'm gonna crash so hard, Miss Walker. Kate Walker. How do you feel? Not very well, I'm afraid. You can't stay like this, Kirk. I've got to find some way to get you out of that damn machine. You'll be putting yourself in danger for nothing, Kid Walker. Even if you find a way to get me out, I'm far too weak to go back to my people. And anyway, I need my mechanical prosthesis to undertake the great ostrich migration. So what do you want me to do? I'm not gonna leave you in the hands of that crazy Olga. The best thing, Kate Walker, is for you to go alone. And if you really want to help me, once you are outside, go to Valsambor and try to recover my prosthesis from the craftsman. If you bring it back to me, Dr. Zamiatin will put it on, and I will be able to go back to my tribe. Can we trust Dr. Zamiatin? I'm not so sure when I see what this clinic is like. The man has always been a friend to the Ukols, and I'm sure he'll be able to help you leave the hospital I don't and find the craftsman in Valsambor. 
Okay. I promise to come back as soon as I can with your prosthesis, Kirk. Until then, hang in there. Thank you, Kate Walker. And may the spirits be with you. Everything is like... It's like they set Russia here in the fucking turn of the century. But fucking... It's, she had a fucking cell phone in the first game. In the second game. I presume she still has. And yet... This is happening. Like, this is a thing that's going on. Where's my fucking key? I want out. Better not have to do that fucking tentacle thing again. part of this hotel. This hospital. I don't understand what's going on anymore. says talk to the lady at the desk. I can't get to the lady at the desk. Okay. Excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for Dr. Zamiatin. He's in his office. You'll find it in the small corridor back there. The first door on your left. But they really just didn't finish the game. Thank you for all that information. I'll be going now. Maybe you should head on back to your room and wait until they say the funicular is fixed and back in service? I'll think about it. Goodbye. The what? The funicular? That the area between the testes and the anus. Oh, wait, that's the perineum. Ah, hello, Miss Walker. How very delightful to see you up and about. Even if I really have to admit that I'm a bit surprised, our dear Dr. Olga painted a far darker picture of your current state of health. There's so much going on here. Um, what do I say? Come on, don't be so shy, miss. I don't want to say anything bad about someone you seem to appreciate, Dr. Zamiatine, but quite frankly, Dr. Efimova worries me. Ah. And why is that? She and her associate, Dr. Mangling, put me through a real interrogation. They're also keeping Kirk, the young Yukul, prisoner, attached to his bed. Yeah. Not to mention the psychological grip she seems to have on everybody here. Listen to me, Miss Walker. I know that waking up after a prolonged period in a coma is difficult. In such a context, anxiety attacks are very normal. But, please, do not project it onto Dr. Olga. I'm not getting any younger, you know, and running this clinic is a very heavy burden. Uh -huh. The last few years, Olga has shown she is capable of assisting me. Okay. I have every faith in her. But why? But... The subject is closed, Miss Walker. Please tell me about that pendant you have around your neck. I must admit, I noticed it as soon as you walked in. Uh, those were... this was once uh, Oscar. It's a souvenir. 
It belonged to Oscar, a friend who passed away. I understand, Miss Walker. I myself have borne the weight of grief for decades now. Wearing a token from someone dear to you is a natural thing. Dr. Zamiatine, I promised Kirk I'd go to the craftsman in Valsambur and bring back his mechanical prosthesis. The poor boy has been waiting for it for ages, so I'd like to try to speed up the process. Would you tell me how to get there? You can't leave. Now there's a truly noble initiative, Miss Walker. I asked my clockmaker friend Simon Steiner to manufacture the young Yukol's mechanical prosthetic leg. He's a capable craftsman and ingenious. You'll find him in his workshop near the Valsambur port. I imagine he must almost be finished with his work by now. He makes amazing things. You'll see. Can you authorize my release so that I can see Dr. Steiner? Unfortunately, I've been told that the clinic is in lockdown. You will have to ask Dr. Where? Olga, Miss Walker. She that? signed the current order to lock our establishment down. She's in charge of giving out the passes. Why are you under lockdown? Isn't it your clinic? Shouldn't you be able to say, yeah, fine, if she works for you? Why are your books facing this the This book should way? answer any of the questions Why you may have about our Yukol's friends. Books? Why were they facing Farewell and bon voyage, That's Miss not, Walker. How, no, how do you know you grabbed the right fucking book? Is that the only book you really gave a shit about? Why are half your books facing the right way and the other half facing page out? I don't understand. This is all really fucking dumb. I get the impression that the Yukols aren't much liked around here. Indeed. It would seem that most of the inhabitants of Valsambor are now quite hostile towards them. This wasn't the case a while back, you know. When I was young, the migration of the snow ostriches was an event widely welcomed with open arms in Valsambor. Why the change in attitude? Our region was actually somewhat devastated 20 years ago. Dramatic events changed the way people viewed the world. The people turned inward on themselves. They're less welcoming. And the fact that the Yukols have been stuck here, next to Lake Valsambor for several weeks, hasn't helped. So it's been several weeks. How many ostrich migrations have you seen? This is the third one. I'm lucky to have seen so many of them. It's a rare spectacle. Believe me, the great herd of ostriches accompanied by the Yukols, doomed to blindly follow their animals wherever they happen to roam. And they don't care about countries, wars, and borders. You seem to like the Yukols, Dr. Zamiatine. They are a fascinating people, you know, and such astonishing medicine infused with shamanism. Uh -huh. Without which, no doubt, you would have never arrived in this clinic alive, Miss Walker. You look like the blue meanie from Spawn. Why did the Yukols ask you to heal Kirk? On each Why of their migrations, the Yukol shamans and I have exchanged medical knowledge. Their trance therapy and materia medica have provided astounding results for my patients affected by psychological afflictions. In exchange, I do what I can to take care of those injured that they can't heal using their traditional medicine. Like, uh, that poor boy who lost his leg. It's really necessary for me to ask Olga's permission to leave? You're the director of this clinic, after all. Olga is my right-hand woman. I can't keep her uninvolved in current matters, Miss Walker. She is also currently your doctor. You should really talk with her about it. She isn't as evil as you seem to believe. You'll find her in her office, most probably. The American is awake. You must hurry, Colonel. Hmm. How is she doing? Fine, apparently. She is docile for the moment. This may not last too much longer, I'm afraid. So, y'all really went a lot on And what about the tribe of nomads? Just like the past two years, Lake Valsambor hasn't frozen over. So the herd can't.